Hi, I'm Jermaine. I'm James. And I'm Pat. And you're listening to the Frickin' Moon. Welcome to the Freaking Dangerous Bro show. Oh my Podcast. god, we're it's, back from the dead. It's been a long time. I, I, I just want you to know, <laughs> I wasn't dead, I was in what? a coma. Okay, so... I was there. Speak for I was, yourself. Um, and I was poking you with a stick the whole time. <laughs> oh, that's why, coma? that's why I've got... <laughs> yeah. So, so, so it's not the double jab that's the bruise that's been no, licked no, on my that arm. Was my nah, spot. That was the spot that I <laughs> that chose. That was the spot that you were while and I was in the yeah, like, Don't poke him. Like, that's dangerous. Don't you, do that. Aren't you his friend? Like, can you please stop that? And I'm like, yeah, but... <laughs> it's fun. But if I don't do this, who's going to do it? <laughs> <laughs> who's going to poke him with a stick? <laughs> And Come then on, the doctor dog. was like, that's a good point. Yeah, well, the thing is, As Pat, you were. <laughs> if, if you didn't poke me with a stick, then bloody Trevor, the bloody intern guy, would have poked me with a stick, and I wasn't down with that. I'd rather my friend poke me with a stick, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd rather you, some the the stick-poking duties be in the hands of someone you yeah. trust. Yeah, yeah, a loved one. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Chelsea was like, I'm not doing this. Yeah, um, yeah. Shawl is my <laughs> um, stick-poker in my... Who are we talking about? Oh, that's... What are they? Who? Chelsea? Who's oh, Chelsea? Chelsea? Chelsea, the we woman. Can't... What are you talking about? <laughs> no. Wait, guys, we can't. Okay, so we, we need to address this We need to stuff. explain things. <laughs> so <laughs> this is this is a limited run of episodes for the show. Um, we The last episode we recorded was in March 2020. Yeah, that was... That and was we are now back. A year and seven months ago. And when yeah. we recorded that episode... Does it feel longer or shorter for you guys? Uh, it feels about right. <laughs> what? This Goldilocks says, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is what. Can, not, I, can I just that's neither one of the options <laughs> that you were given? It feels a, no one. No one ever answers that question like that. No one ever says, "I oh, know it's right on the money." <laughs> This is, can I tell you guys, when we, <laughs> when you said, when you said Jermaine, we're bringing the, we're going to bring the compost podcast back. My the compost? <laughs> oh no. My, my biggest apprehension was that I have, I've come to realize that I am the Carl Pilkington of this group. <laughs> I just say things that aren't funny and then you guys just laugh at me for like, for like a good minute. And I was like, I don't but know, if, I don't know if I want to continue to be the Carl Pilkington of this group. <laughs> but it is like, here's why it's funny, Jermaine. Okay, can I explain to you why it's funny? Okay. I feel like we've explained to him why it's funny no, so many I don't times. Think, look, here's the thing. I ask you, <laughs> does it feel longer or shorter? Not because I want to know your real feelings. I'm trying to create content. And then you just say the thing that goes nowhere. Well, it's gone somewhere, hasn't it? <laughs> hasn't it? You guys are laughing. Are you enjoying yourselves? Uh, oh, anyway, I just like so... to say I, I love that I I look like an American football offensive line coach. <laughs> You look like you just like lost the Super Bowl. Well, well that, okay. Well, that's actually another thing is we're filming the podcast uh, this time, yeah. which is not what we'd really done much previously. Um, yeah. So you could be watching this on YouTube. You could be watching this on YouTube. Uh, com slash freaking dangerous bro. I think freaking dangerous bro. <laughs> yeah, I need it. I need it. Yes, I think I need to check that. Anyway, what was but yeah? Saying? So you could be watching it. You could be watching the full thing um, Facebook, on YouTube, probably. which probably. Cool. YouTube probably. Yeah. So. Yeah. So Our we, last episode been away. was a year and seven yeah. months ago, and it felt exactly like that amount of time. <laughs> and, yeah. and we said when we did that, we said that we were go- it was going to become a sometimes podcast, and maybe we'd yeah. pop in and out, you know, just yeah. do one every now and then. And a year and a half later, <laughs> never did it. It's sometimes. But, but in the okay, here's the thing: the reason we're back is this little limited run that we're going to do <clears throat> is called Locked Up. With freaking David. Why is that, Jermaine? Right? Because it's the name of an Akon song that I like. 
That's the only reason. That's that's no, why you think this is I'm little locked little up. Yeah, yeah no, me, no yeah. other, no global pandemic, nothing. Oh yeah, that's a good tie-in. Oh shit, that's good. <laughs> oh shit, that's a good yeah, idea. Man. No, it's okay. clever. It's clever stuff, huh? That's nice. Clever, smart boy. Smart boy. Um. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, but well, the real reason is that it's because Auckland, which is the beautiful city that we all live in, mm. is in a strict level three lockdown at the moment. <laughs> well, it's not that strict. We're not allowed to leave. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, okay. Sorry. I, in a can, very loose level three yeah, lockdown at the moment. Can I be honest with you guys? So what? <clears throat> I was can, the one. Can I be honest with you guys? I was patient zero. <laughs> <laughs> I ate the bat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I, mean, oh, I feel so good to get that off my chest. Finally, I've been waiting for a platform to say it. <laughs> oh, good God. So when I, I was the one that hit you guys up. It's yeah. weird because when we've ended the podcast, I was, was the one that was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't have time. My wife. Yeah, like, it was a whole dramatic thing. Yeah, it, want to stab was, me with a knife. It was too hard. Yeah, I attacked James. Um, <clears throat> and then weirdly, I'm the one that hit us up and was like, let's do the podcast. And... How many? How long? I don't. It doesn't matter. It was but, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. But this is. Go- I. I didn't say why I hit you up, so I could talk about it on the podcast. It's because I hit a point in the lockdown where I wasn't doing well anymore mentally. Oh. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. And it took a while. Like the last lockdown, I was fine. The the one after that, I was fine. This one, mostly, I was fine. And then I hit a point where I was like. Oh, this sucks. And I'm not coping anymore. Like, my brain is, like, spiraling. Like, every day I'm just, like, you know, it's, like, yeah. the same thing every day over and over again. And you just hit yeah. that wall. And then I was, like, what oh, What do I do? And then I realized I don't talk to anyone. Yeah. Other than, yeah. like, my wife and my kids. And I was, like, I need to go talk to my friends. My wife, my kids, my toaster, my yeah. couch, my dog. <laughs> we play a game. It's called Blue's Clues. <laughs> Nah, and well, and, well, I yeah, I didn't know that, and so I'm real happy that we could be part of your um, mental health. You know, like mm, keeping your yeah. your mind healthy. Um, and I'm glad you brought that I'm, up on a comedy podcast. Yeah, quite <laughs> early as well, eh? Quite hey, early. Hey, Pax, can I tell you something? Maybe a little bit too early. <laughs> can I tell you something? In your look, in your I'm head, rusty, right? We haven't done this in a while. <laughs> no, pa- the timing. Pax, I'm your... not quite sure of the timing of it. <laughs> In your head, in your yeah. mental headspace, yeah. did the time feel shorter or longer? <laughs> no, right on the money, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right on the money. No, it's funny you say that because I, yeah. I was also starting to feel like, because a lot of people will be like, well, lockdown started 10 weeks ago, mate. How come it took you guys so long to get anything done? Mm. I was feeling, I was the same. I was like, I was like just cooped up in the thing. I was just doing the same shit every day. And yeah, again, I was like, it's because I haven't seen my friends. Yeah. I haven't spoken or like had a laugh or like had a shit yarn with mates. And like, I love, I love Esther. I love my partner, mm. but it's like, that's all we, <laughs> I do, but it, I, I, yes, please believe. <laughs> um, but there's only so much that you guys can talk about that yeah. isn't like, you know, like the, you, I can't banter about like <clears throat> the same stuff. And so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just, I mean, yeah, just well, to, like, catch up with I, what's similar. Yeah, I guess I guess I share the same thing in terms of like, I've been, you know, like mentally, I guess, struggling for the past um, 14 months because I'm a new parent and it sucks. In fact, I wish you had mm. told me that being a parent sucks. I tried, man. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> on that. Run the tape. I tried. <laughs> no, so, so, on that. so American football coach. Run the tape. <laughs> run the tape. Run the play. Um. On that, Jermaine. Yeah. So on the last episode of the show that we recorded, yeah. episode 64, <clears throat> yeah. um, End of an Era, um, there's literally a part where Pax is talking about how it's hard to be a parent. And Jermaine, you say, well, I'm not a parent yet, but as someone who's not a parent, you're a fucking sensitive pussy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And I listened back to it yesterday, and I was like, ah, how the tables have turned. Uh, being a parent. How, how does a feel man yeah how does it feel being on the other side i don't now? want to go into right now because I'll, I'll talk about that when we get to my okay, little, okay, okay, okay i'll okay. talk about it when i get to my little <clears throat> segment okay. of the show anyway have yeah. we addressed so, what else did we need no so we so this is what kind of this is is like it's us kind of touching base with each other mm. touching base touching each other touching ourselves yeah while we are with each it's other it's funny that it took over two months into podcast for into uh, lockdown for us to go should we check in on each other like, should we just make yeah, sure yeah, yeah. each other's 
I've got a couple what? of draft messages to you, James, in my in my um messenger. What does it say? I can't I can't anymore, man. Well, I don't, I don't want to. I need to check. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Why did you dra- just send it, you pussy? What? <laughs> well, he's asking. No, it's you... like no, it's not. It's just out of like you do it and then you get distracted. Oh, like you're about to. Yeah, but the, I mean, that means I'm a good friend, right? A couple of drafts. Well, that, nah, it's not the thought that counts in that situation. You have to press send. Really? I have an. Oh, I mean, look. I have an actual message to James that I sent. So yeah, Jermaine yeah, but sent. yeah, but it's but it's a bad one. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was um, James. <laughs> yeah, I hope your mental health like, is deteriorating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You no, screenshot of it and sent it to me. I, here's the thing. So we have we have a group chat on Facebook Messenger, but and we have been talking on it. Like we've been like you know oh, going, hey, that... hope you guys are all good. Hope this, but like the I remember like the first time we did a video chat, I was like, now nah, this is the good stuff right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so much better. Was that? Did you think? Did you think when you saw the 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 video chat? Did you think, oh, we should do the podcast, or you just were like, oh, this is cool? What video chat? Like when we first the did video a video chat, you just mentioned. Oh, you yeah. brought up 100%. the video chat, and then you're like, <laughs> "What video chat?" Hey, so yeah, and then I saw the video chat, and I really liked it. Hey, so what did you think of that video chat? What video <laughs> chat? <laughs> I'm a goldfish. You are the Carl Pilkington of this group. No, no, man. Don't, no don't, 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 don't. You can't oh, offload it. You can't give it. To you cannot else. offload. Um, um, did you? Yeah, fuck yeah. So why didn't you say anything? At Call that me point? Sunny Bill Williams because I'm trying to no, offload the. Oh man! You know what is making this worse? <laughs> but also, the, the listeners can't see this. Well, some when of them are recording will be able to. because of the. No, 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 no! They can't see this when we're recording. Jermaine needs two video sources because of his mic issues. So there's two Jermaines going. <laughs> but also, <laughs> Just but also, one hundred percent doesn't look like someone offloading. Looks like a Spanish dancer. <laughs> That's Spanish offload. Dancer That's an offload. Do. That's an offload. Just flick it under the arm. <laughs> Like that. This do it again. Play. No, do what you're doing before again. <laughs> Ole! 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 <laughs> no, so when I saw the video chat, the reason we were having the video chat is to discuss doing the pod. So, yes. Oh, oh yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, we didn't have just a catch up video chat to be like, hello. Yeah. It was like, again, like anything, business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I mean, like, it. part of me does think, like, oh, it's kind of stink that we're using a work it's not work because we're not getting paid for it it is still just enjoyable <laughs> but it's think that we're using um something where we have to be on like and have to be and have to perform to catch up yeah but when i think back to when we did the podcast i don't ever remember and i think that's the beauty of our group and that's the beauty of like us working together and i think that's why we don't mind doing something like this is that a lot of the time we don't have to feel like we're on when we're together like yeah, it I doesn't feel I don't... like we have to turn it on like we just nah. we can just talk yeah i mean it feels and... like you're not on right now like that's yeah yeah right. this this is <laughs> here's, the, here's the podcast that jermaine wants non-stop jokes joke every second line is a joke <laughs> <Very big man. laughs> Do you just want constant jokes? Every time I brought up something serious, you've you've said something about it. But I know full well that you're the one who's doing the worst mentally, and you're the one who's driving any serious topic into the ground. <laughs> but that's part of the coping Are mechanism, you coping baby. Right now? <laughs> that's part of the coping mechanism, baby. Yeah. I I I'm, it doesn't surprise me. Like at the end of the day. At the end of the day, we're still three stand-up comedians who need the feel to feel the rush of making friends or other people laugh. And so this is why this is like a fun thing to do for me. Do you know what I mean? Like I haven't been able to stand on stage and tell jokes and get the vibe and, and I, feel like pop a room. And I just do not have the motivation. And I know you do, James. And that's for what? For Well let him finish what? his fucking <laughs> <make it. laughs> Let him finish! Jesus, Carl so Pilkington! Oh, Carl no, Pilkington! No, 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 no. Stop it, Carl Pilkington! <laughs> 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 no, what is it? Um, I, you do have the, the, the motivation to, like, make uh, social media sketch videos, or, like, observation videos, or, like, well, funny characters. Or, 
funny TikToks. Like you do that, and and it's and it's done well for you. You jumped up and followers, whatever, blah blah blah. I yeah. don't have that. I just don't yeah. care, and yeah. I find it really. I, and part of it is that getting likes and comments never ever for me. And you probably feel the same, James. Maybe Absolutely. you don't, but never ever for me feel the same. As no, it's not the same. Being funny in real life, like making yeah. people saying something and they laugh, yeah, at what you said. It yeah. doesn't. Oh, I will it doesn't feel take the same. that. I will take that over the likes and followers in a heartbeat. Also, the <laughs> only reason I want more likes and followers is so I can have a bigger room to do that in, in the yeah. future to make actual like, people laugh. Yes, yeah, um, bro. Yeah. And also, I've actually on that. I've like stopped. I've. I've slowed down a lot. Like I was like on go 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 for the first like couple of weeks, three weeks mm. of the of the of the lockdown. But in the last couple of weeks, <clears> I've just been like drained, bro. I've been so uninspired. Did it drain you? Making stuff? Yes, absolutely, bro. There are people who are beasts when it comes to like having a new sketch every day. Yeah. Chris Parker, shout out to the homie. Yeah, he is an idea machine, and he's like thriving. And so like when you when you talk like it's so interesting when you talk like oh I see that you're putting stuff out. Um, it's like because. I look at other people and go, oh man, I wish I could put out, like, I wish I should be putting out as much stuff as they're doing. And so it's like, it just, it's a reminder that like, there's always someone else doing something that's like, but no, do, do you know what I mean? And this is no disrespect to Chris Parker. <clears throat> yeah. He's not a stand up like we are. Yeah, no, no but he's like, he comes from but, the acting world. He's a, and he's, so a, he's, he's a live performer, enjoys making people laugh. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah absolutely. But like, no, no, but we, he didn't start in stand up. He started, he, I think he went to acting school. I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, he, he trained as an actor. Yeah, he's an like, improviser. And... Yeah, yeah. Whereas, like, yeah, stand-ups, yeah. we are a special kind of, like, insecure, you know? <laughs> yeah. Where we need, we, <laughs> we need like, that, that you know, per-minute laughter to, like, fill up our yeah. security tank and then, like, Here's go the on thing, though, life. is I've had this exact chat with Chris, so we've been messaging, and he said, he's actually expressed the same thing of being, like, it's just not the same. Like, he misses yeah. doing snort. He misses performing. Yeah, live I mean, like, regardless of your background, it, I just don't think it ever is the it's, same. It's not the same. It's yeah. also it, it it there's so much more. Um, you get you can really get sucked into it, and it like plays havoc on your mental health. Like I've purposely like been like, oh, I'm, I need to take a break from just putting like a new video out every day. Yeah. Because every day you're like, oh, I hope this does well, blah blah blah. But I'm like, you, I need to do things for my mental and self care to like fill the other cup you know what i'm saying so I, I like you know i'll talk about it in my segment but i'm like fuck like yeah i i think it's just being here and having a laugh and like hanging out with mates mm. is so much more fulfilling all right <laughs> all right all so let's uh let's have a look at which um fried chicken we brought in today for us to eat in the shower <laughs> um all right what have we got sorry this is me referring to james nikisa's mental health podcast Called eating fried chicken in the shower. Oh, are we trampling? What? Are we trampling on a premise? What is this Jermaine character? All <laughs> podcasts, all jokes. No, all all jokes. No, Jermaine no loves a good mental health chat. Loves a good chicken. <laughs> loves a good chicken on his mates. Jermaine doesn't like his genres crossing. He's like, no, comedy <laughs> only. Then we press record, and Jermaine <laughs> turns into this like emotional like. Screw your emotions, mate. Do a joke or get out. <laughs> Do a joke. Well, do you know What's what makes do you, do you know what it makes me think? What? The moment it's, it's his segment, man's is out here just gonna let loose on the actual. Are you annoyed that we're doing this before your segment and you want to be like, <laughs> I wanted to be the emotional guy? <laughs> no, I, I honestly don't know how my segment's gonna go. I'm just okay. gonna, oh, I can't wait. I'm just gonna start talking and see what happens. Um, but yeah, so that's that's why this exists. To, all that to say is because we are. I hope, and I hope if you know, obviously, not everyone listening to this will be in lockdown. We've got a few listeners. We've yeah, got some yeah, listeners yeah, yeah. from the UK, even. So, like, mm -hmm. and I think you guys are free to do and, whatever and, now. And radio you guys. In, in the states, and in, in the states, radio listens from the states, and mm -hmm. so, like, you know, um, not everyone's going to be in lockdown. But for those of you who are in lockdown, and we hope that maybe this could be something that you could look forward to every week. Yeah. To be like, hey, it's like a, a catch up with your friends as well that you may or may have not missed. Some people have missed us. Yeah. Some people haven't. <laughs> I get messages of people going like, "Hey, I didn't miss you, man." Yeah, don't bring it back. <laughs> don't bring it back. Pat, see if I care. James, yeah. James is trying to express some kind of nice comment, some nice kind of thing, explaining why we're yeah. doing this podcast, how it'll be good yeah. for people, and you just go flip on the end with a stupid gag. You know, and you know what, Jermaine? Yeah, what? 
Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> also, also, by my recording thing, it's about 19 minutes into the show, and we haven't addressed why Jermaine has a sellotape thing on his bed. Uh, you know what you look like? You look like a patient who needs to be on oxygen, but just can't be fucked anymore. <laughs> it, needs, it should and be here. Like, Put it up! And you're like, ah. Uh. He's like, ah, oh, Larry, what's the point? <laughs> who cares? It's, uh, yeah, I just let my friend poke me with a stick. <laughs> Well, I mean, for the for, for, for people who want to know, I don't have a uh, a microphone. Um, yeah. It, it, the only microphone I have is in these set of headphones, and it needs to be up closer to my mouth uh, to get good quality noise out of uh, my waha. <laughs> sounds pretty good. It sounds good. Yeah. So that's just as me explaining. All right, it. and that was my segment. Um. Yeah. So <laughs> we're gonna do a limited run. Um. Yes. We thought what was going to happen is we'd start it during lockdown and then we'd come mm. out of lockdown, but we'd just still carry on for a little bit. Turns out this lockdown is going way longer than what we thought it was going to yeah, be. Yeah, we thought it would be like, I thought it'd be like a week, two weeks tops. Yeah, you know? like it a start lockdown. Yeah, yeah, but here we are. We're in a, in a, a, in a longer lockdown that people mm. who have been in longer lockdowns overseas are, are laughing at. Like, yeah, because here's yeah. the thing, New Zealand, New Zealand has been pretty smug about the fact that we're yeah. like, ooh, look, we could go to 660 at Eden Park. <laughs> <laughs> and then the rest yeah. of the world was like, oh, fuck you, New Zealand. Now Auckland is like paying for us. And, so what, so what did know? we do while we were, while the three of us were away? Well, the main okay, thing let's we catch did, the, people the up. main thing we did is we made our TV show. Mm -hmm. we we shot our tv show uh, go watch it yeah. on the road around the around, the around lockdown situations or some sort of torrent website if you're already in the united states <laughs> so a show the tv show should have taken us probably three months to do ended up taking like eight to nine months to do but that was fine yeah. and then it came out and we bloody loved it didn't we yeah it was fun yeah so that's yeah. that's pretty much the only thing freaking dangerous bro have done since yeah. uh and the reason for that <coughs> is because we've been very busy boys in our other lives yeah yeah in right? our mm -hmm. other lives. well should we should we get to that should we catch up do the catch up catch up uh yeah listen cut the shit we're gonna catch up uh, we do okay so let's i reckon we do a segment called cat the catch up no is, is, isn't that what i was just trying to explain i don't know no, but then i'm no, i no, think James, we should have a sting you don't realize jermaine was doing the intro sting Oh, that's the interesting. Yeah, yeah. Go start, start again, Jermaine. Start again. <laughs> okay. okay. Right now, whatever you say onwards for the next 10, 15 seconds yeah. will be the interesting for the catch up. Okay. All right. The catch up. We're going to catch you up on ca catching up <laughs> for catch up with, with catching up on what we have been doing separately. Worth it's it. incredible how like the, you, you can just recreate that. Yeah, I know. You know, like you did it, and then you got, and then you just did it again. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I would have, I would have loved a little bit more of this. A little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more flamenco. That's what you're looking. For. Are you flicking something behind you, or are you thrusting a flute very confidently up to your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> I bet like you, guy. <laughs> it's a Sunny Bill Williams flicking it over his shoulder. How it looks is like, this? You know, at a party when someone pulls out a guitar. <laughs> Yeah. You're, the, you're the flute guy. He's ready for the flute. Fuck, I wish I had a rugby ball. And then I'd be like, there's no confusion. This can only be this. <laughs> and no one's excited about the flute when the flute guy brings it fucking... out at a party. <laughs> the worst mime. The worst mime of all time. The flute guy. Oh, fuck, I wish I had a rugby ball. <laughs> this isn't getting it across. If only I had. One, you can't do the thing. Nah, guys, Two, you're talking guys, to explain. If there was actually a wall here, it would look me. <laughs> Bro, anyone have a wall on you? Because fuck this. Oh, I know bro. it doesn't look great right now, but if there was an actual invisible wall, like if there was glass here, be this would be sick. me. Bro, bro, if there was a rope, if there was a rope right here, it would it would look like I'm pulling myself <laughs> like, along I, I, this like, rope. I know I'm not selling the tension of the rope right now, but, but if there was a real rope, it would look real good. <laughs> a frustrated mime. <laughs> Can you guys uh, anyway, just yeah, understand? So okay, I'm pretending. <laughs> I'm pretending. There's a glass wall. <laughs> anyway, so the catch up. Let's catch people up in the last yeah. year and a half of uh, we'll take of teams. our lives. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So who wants to go first? Pax, do you want to go first? Sure. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> 
So what have I been doing for you? How long has it been? Year and seven months? Yeah, year and Here's seven. Here's the thing: months. is this just what the show? Like, this is just the segment, right? No, this, this is everyone's segment. Yeah, this is what the or show is. Or is this a separate thing? This is what the show is. Yeah, great, great. Okay, great, great, great. I was just double checking. Yeah. So I, I, I don't want to get into like 50 minutes after and be like, all right, now time for a segment. <laughs> and be like, fuck. No, no, no. Now this is what our segments are this week. Is is catching up? Okay. So so I know I know that like at the beginning of my segment, I know a lot of people who have listened to the podcast in the in the past are going to be expecting something about um, the illustrious, um, <laughs> prolific, <laughs> and um, culturally significant Gape Nation. Yeah. But here's the thing. <clears throat> I feel Well, you're like not the leader anymore. I'm not the leader That's anymore. One thing. And I'm going to and I'm going to say something crazy. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a member anymore. Yeah. I'm you not got even ousted. A member. I got ousted. And do, um, you, do you know where that happened? At my daughter's first birthday party. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it happened at Jamae at at his daughter's first birthday party. I arrived. Is, yeah. And um Looking like a Middle Eastern Luigi. Looking like a Middle Eastern Luigi. Why? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. that I, that's confusing <laughs> right now. But I'll explain that yeah. as we go. <laughs> um, and Bezza was there. My dad. Yeah. The leader. The of true the leader Nation. of the gate. Yeah. The the rightful the rightful heir to the throne of the of the of the gaping chair of the gape chair, the gape throne. And yeah, so yeah, the gate, gate master. And at that party, I got ousted, and I was done, and I was out of the group. So that's done. That chapter is done. I'm done with the Gape Nation, um, and I've started a new group. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's what's your group? It's called the Sloppy Joes. <laughs> <laughs> just a group of people <laughs> are you sloppy yeah we're just slop we're just slipping and sliding and we're just <laughs> we're, ne- well, and we're never dry and that's the thing about us well look a uh, big shout out to the sloppy joes sloppy joes <laughs> and we are the mortal enemies of the gape nation oh so are you allies with the vibe nation yeah we are so it's a sloppy joe vibe nation al- yeah. alliance yeah the the, the vibe nation vomit us out <laughs> and then we, but then, and then so we come up, oh, and any, we hit the ground and we're all sloppy. For any new listeners, the Vibe Nation yeah. was the <laughs> Jermaine's gestures up so the, 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 so the, the Gate so Nation, Nation was a was a cult that I created. Oh, Jermaine now you're it. admitting it's a cult. Yeah, it's a cult. Big yeah, it was a bit, it was a really. Oh, big, we admitted it was, it was a cult a long time ago. Culty cult. <laughs> oh yeah, we had goats and shit. Yeah, being we were, sacrificed <laughs> out the wazoo. We would slice each other's nips off for no reason. Like it was weird. Yeah, um, it was a cult. And, <laughs> and Jermaine, this, we we had already admitted this on the show. And this Jermaine, is canon. Jermaine remember. hated it, and so he created the Vibe Nation because he would bite. He would bite a us. Bite boy. He hated it. Anyway, but now I'm 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 aligned with the Vibe Nation. I'm, I'm no longer Gabe Nation. Anyway, yeah, you're a sloppy Joe. I'm a sloppy Joe. Um, <laughs> so what have I what what have I been doing? So part of the reason why I I ha- wasn't able to um continue the podcast is because of how busy I got with my TV show. Um, and you combine that with like being a dad, trying to sustain um uh, a fam like a marriage. Ooh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and all of that combine all of that it was just getting too hard so for the last year and so months, i got a I've divorce been... so we could start the podcast again <laughs> and now so i'm free baby <laughs> yeah. i got a divorce and i see my kids once every six months so we in baby <laughs> podcast time no i'm still married happily married with with my kids in my house um <laughs> but yeah so I, the past year and s- whatever months i've been writing and then shooting and now editing my tv show and you were acting and you I've were been, acting in your show as well and acting yeah, as well yeah, and yeah. this goes back to why jermaine said i look like a middle eastern luigi is because i play my own father um in the show yeah. the show is about me if you want to see a photo of that we will put one up in our on our socials. Also, just go to Pax's socials. Yeah, it is wild. There's, there's a, yeah, yeah. I look <laughs> incredible. Um, so yeah, I was playing my father in the early 2000s, 2001 to be exact, and it's a show about 11, 12 year old me. 
Um, and yeah, that's what I've been doing for a year and seven months. And it's been hectic and crazy. And I will never, <clears throat> ever, 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 <laughs> ever ridicule a TV show again. Why? It's too hard. It's so hard. Yeah. It's so You've been hard. on the other side now? So wait, like, like ridicule it in what way? Like, like, because it's... Just be like, just, just be like, uh, this sucks. Like, if something's bad, like, yeah, you're like, like, oh, yeah. I just, now, the feeling, the desire to say that a show is bad is gone. Yeah. Because I know that, like, the amount of effort and time and creative energy and, like, I, I, I was the writer, showrunner, performer... Um, and then, uh, and then in the post process, I wasn't post director or anything like that, but I was like there constantly at every step of the process I was there. So the amount of energy I've put into the show is absurd. And I know that I know there's going to be people that are going to say that the show is average. Sure. There's going to be people that like it. There's going to be people that don't like it. That's a fact. I can't change that. There, and there's going to be people I, that perfectly enjoy it. Just right in that, that spot. That, that, <laughs> that, that, uh, love it right. Just, right just on the money. Right, I'm gonna call you. Gold, love, I'm calling you Goldilocks Jermaine from now on. I like this. <laughs> yeah, got a real Goldilocks vibe today. Goldilocks Jermaine. And I know that that's gonna happen, but and and but I also know that when I see the negative stuff, it's going to hurt me. Yeah, because you work so hard. Because I work so hard, and and I have to be prepared for that. I have to be ready for that. Yeah. So now I just that feeling, that desire to just shit on something, even if I do think it's bad. Now I want to. I want to practice not saying anything negative yeah. about it. Okay. Okay. Well, let's let. Should we just like pull a bad TV show? Just talk yeah. about one now, and you practice not saying yeah. bad stuff about it. Okay. Go yeah. Right. What's yeah, it? Yeah, okay, Jermaine. Let's let's Jermaine. Tell me mm. about a new show you've just seen um, that that. Oh, that will uh, That's like I, derided. Well, I only really have been watching good shows and or obscure shows. Like I watched Lime Town. Have you guys heard of Limetown? Oh, that show sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, show immediately sucks, left his body. <laughs> well, no, I haven't seen Limetown. Um, or um, here's the thing, Pax. This doesn't just apply to TV shows. It's things that people. No, no, make no. I will that, shit on that... everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this movie is ass. Is, uh, everything bro. else I will shit on happily and freely. I love it. Okay, what about? You better not make an album here go, around here me. Go, here we go. Here's the practice. <laughs> here we go. Here we yeah. go. Keeping up with the Kardashians. <clears throat> um, the minds behind that show did an incredible job of captivating the world for a moment in time. And that moment is like. It did 20 seasons. Yeah, a long moment in time. And it made a lot of people a lot of money. And it um, and it damaged a lot of women, the young girls' images of themselves. <laughs> ah, shit, sorry. I went, I went yeah, damn, yeah, there you go. Damn it! <laughs> you stared in the wrong place again. It's hard, it's hard, but... I also think that um, this newfound... This newfound desire to be to put positive energy in the world will probably fade over time. <laughs> <laughs> give the moment it, you forget. Give it time. Like right no. now, right now it's fresh. The wounds and like battle scars of making a TV show are so fresh. Yeah. Give it time. He, he, like here's the thing, Pat. In three years' time, I'll be like, this just sucks. You've, you've now. I been made an on... Emmy-nominated show, man. <laughs> this just sucks. You have been now on the on like two TV shows, like. Um, you've been there for the inception of both shows, and so you, you mean, you mean can't have... on the road? Yeah, so mm. you have a perspective now of even how much of a miracle it is to even get one made in the first place. Let yeah. alone fuck, fuck making it, like fuck the actual creation, yeah. but like getting the green light to make something to convince people to be like, "Bro, this is good." Yeah, that ta that's and a fucking not miracle only in itself. People, to convince white people to let <laughs> yeah. you make. A show about brown people. Yeah, that's like a whole nother level. It's a whole of nother difficulty. level. So that's a whole I think other yeah. level of offloading. What? Oh, this is like a claw one. Offloading. <laughs> yeah, now you're like gripping the ball. Offloading. <laughs> You've got two two um balls, <laughs> and you're like. Ah. 
Um, no, yeah, it's like a whole nother level of difficulty, and I think I'm not surprised at all that you have a newfound perspective on it. It's God mode. And I think it's good. <laughs> it's what? It's God mode. <laughs> it's God mode to get that made? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but I think you should hold on to that, because that, that, that's a good attitude to have for other th- like things in your life. Yeah, no, I think, like, I, I joke that it, it'll, it'll, wear, it'll fade, that feeling, but Honestly, like this process has been so arduous that I think it's gonna yeah. take a long ass time to fade. Do you know what? Too, I feel like you're in the midpoint of the because you know how like when you first started doing comedy and you yeah. like look up to the people who are like you know maybe twenty years in, 20, 30 years in. Sure. People who are a little bit more comfortable, and you're like, oh man, like you know, you're not like like you're not making stuff that uh, other people like. You, you what, what's wrong? Like, where's your hunger and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you're now on the transition of understanding why those people were like that. Which like, people? You're in, like, the, the, I guess people who, like... <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> James, what are you... Com- where is this going? No, I where guess I'm coming more to the tran- the transition between, like, a, like, a, like a, the difference between, like, a super fucking hungry 20-year-old, sure. someone who will, like, go, I'm the best, fuck everyone else, everyone else's shit isn't as good as mine, to, like someone who's a little older and understands the shit that goes into this and can and and is like everyone can make different things and it's okay right and right comfortable not everything in, has like, to be for me yeah, yeah like yeah. you don't have to feel so insecure about the shit do you know what i mean like it's like you know the difference between like like a jeremy corbett versus like a raw comedian do you know do you know what i mean like sure. corbett doesn't give a fuck about what other people make he's like you guys do your own thing like yeah. i'm doing this thing um, and I'm more than happy if that fails, I'm not going to shit on it, like all the mm-hmm. stuff versus like, you know, like if you're starting out, you like, you would probably be like, oh, that's not, that's not any good. I would do it so much better. You know, like, it's like, it's such a different attitude. <coughs> yeah. I, mean, I think you're in the midpoint of that. It's the whole like young, young buck versus elder statesman kind of thing. Right. Where, yeah. I do think I'm in the middle of it. You're like perfectly um, yeah, but, placed right in the middle. Yeah, right. <laughs> you're the, so you're young. Goldilocks, I'm in the in Goldilocks, uh, Goldilocks phase of my life. <laughs> Yeah, and I think it's good. And I think this shit is like good growth. But how know, fun dude. would it be to get old, be like Corbett's age? Not that Corbett's old. Nah, that's fine. He is old. He's, but, old. Um, he, he's fine with that. <laughs> I think it's okay. It. But um, we get, say that with love. Yeah, hey, like, he's listening. That. He's listening to the podcast, and he's like, "Oh, I'm oh. old." <laughs> <laughs> Just takes it off and goes back to his boat. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> um, shout out to Jeremy Corbett. He's a good dude. But how fun would it be to get to that age and still be grumpy? You know. <laughs> well, no. Here's the thing. Here's the difference, right? I mean, the, the way to do that, the, the way to get to that age, the way the way to get that age and be grumpy is to not have the success that you wanted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And those people exist. I damn it, it. we don't I need to. Now, now I'm not going to be grumpy. <laughs> God damn. We don't need to name anyone, but that that I'm person. I'm literally, I'm literally no way. I'm looking James in the eye, and I know we're thinking of the exact same person. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's, we're all, not say saying it. let's it? all say it together on three. No, we're not One, doing that. Two, three. three. Jeremy Corbett. <laughs> <laughs> what, the host of seven days? <laughs> um, no, I'm kidding. Uh, cool. So is that your, is, it, is, is this your segment? Yeah, I don't know. I, that's kind of all I've been up to. Like, yeah, that. Yeah, what else? Are there any other quick, Re- quick recording run two degrees through? ads? Yeah. At home. Um. That's all, really. Just yeah. being a dad at home, trying to find yeah. new ways to to. Your kids are older now. Children. Yeah, man, seven and five. Well, tell ah. tell us about that next week. I feel like let's 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 um, let's yeah, let's save that. Let's save save that. the catch up stuff so we don't all do it and because you know, yeah, it's good. We got like we got to run. We got a limited run to do so. All right. You know what I'm is that crazy to you, Jermaine? Seven and five. Yeah. When I think about it, I'm like, yo, that is wait. People don't know yet about this. What? About Jermaine and his situation. What do you mean? What do you mean they don't know? That I have a daughter? Who that you ha- that About your baby. Yeah, they know. The people. No, no, listening. they know. Do they? We, yeah, the we people t- that listen in the past know. Yeah, no, yeah, no. yeah. I announced it on the podcast. Also. Oh, you mean yeah. the new people, Jim- James? New. Pe- oh, no, no. Also, I guess. I love people that we're assuming that or... new people will want to listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> the new people you know no, 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 i mean the hordes of new people <laughs> no i mean um like so the last time that we like for listeners of the show the last time that we talked about you having a baby was 
Chelsea, like, you know, we don't know, they don't know if that it's what, what uh, sex the baby is. They don't know the name. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, I want Jermaine to tell us about that. Okay. Yeah. And, and I think it's lovely. I mean, that's not what I was going to do in my segment. I was just going to talk about new pillows that I bought. Like, that's, <laughs> that's what I care about. And now you're suddenly forcing me having to talk about my child in my segment. What are you. <laughs> There's some lovely, comfortable pillows in there. I wanted to tell everyone. Well, okay. This is I a wanted good to transition. do pillow should chat. We just, should we just go to you? Let's go to you now. All right. We'll go to me. All right. Okay, Jermaine. What have you been... What's what's the catch-up with you? <clears throat> okay. What's new with you? In the past year and seven months, I have been... Yeah. First, we yeah. made our TV show, and mm. that was the most stressful experience uh, <laughs> of my entire life. Um, yeah, great. It was insanely stressful. Then, and uh, But I was real happy with it at the end, like when we got to see yeah. it, and like I was like, this is fun. Uh, yeah. yeah and, and, and it was really cool. Um, then I got both times we've been gotten, gotten into lockdown. Like, so we did the level four lockdowns, and then we've done this lockdown. I've 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 been working ridiculous amounts, um, yeah. Because I've been editing from home and like we and I just happened to be working on shows at the time that carried on during lockdown. So yeah, so I was doing all that and then um and then I bought some new pillows. So that's the catch up. And what are and and what are these pillows? Um, yeah, can you tell us about so them? So they're those triangle like um the memory foam. Um, oh, you bought a triangle pillow? Yeah, a triangle. Ooh, and oh, I've got someone's doing well. I've got a couple of. I've got a couple. Ooh. So one. Well, of course he's doing well. He's got the key to the city in the back of the <laughs> shot. Wow. No, that's a twenty-first key. That's Chelsea. To the city. Twenty-first key. <laughs> it's a twenty-first key. No, James, from the city. James, we can only see that. We can only see that in his fuckhead shot. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't even to. see it at the other shot. No one will know what the fuckhead shot is. Well, it just why'd you call Jermaine a fuckhead? No, you you know what a twenty first key is, the way. <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. you can Jermaine. open 20, 21 big doors. No, no, no. What? <laughs> Here's the key to your twenty first. There are twenty one doors. This opens <laughs> no, no, in the world. No, no, we will not tell you where, <laughs> and you gotta find them. And it's your quest for the rest <laughs> just, of your life, James. It's just because That's your OE. I'm never quite sure what like You're in Cairo looking for a big door. <laughs> what traditional key? Excuse things. me, merchant. Have you seen a big door? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, brother. And then he's like, uh, "Hey, can I just? <laughs> I just want to tell you guys something, Pax. Yeah. You what? just yeah. doing a wee accent, so yeah. I yeah. have been listening to this podcast. It's called 544 Days, and it's about okay. a dude, an Iranian American yeah, dude, days. who got arrested." Okay. And, and oh yes, and the, in, the the Amer the reporter guy, yeah, an Iranian American yeah. reporter, lived in mm. Iran, um, working there, got arrested, um, and put in prison, um, for five hundred forty four days. And they, and they, the, in America, no, in no. Iran, like he was. Oh wow, living, okay. yeah, yeah. So he was in a, a bad prison. Um, yeah, and it's a really good podcast. Not one of the good ones. <laughs> and it, it's a really good podcast. They go through his whole story, and um. Uh -huh. At some point, I'm like, not that guy. If you if you ask me, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not him. And my question is, were you there? <laughs> were you there? Um, <laughs> you know him. And so, oh yeah, um, Uncle Reza. Yeah, yeah, I know Uncle Reza. <laughs> and so, um, he uh, du during the podcast, so because he worked for the Washington Post, and the Washington mm. Post would um, do like um, go to these press conferences. Because they were doing like um, uh, negotiations with America at the time, and the Iran foreign minister would hold press conferences, and the Washington Post would always ask about this guy because they knew he was in prison. Okay. And the yes. the Iranian foreign minister sounds one hundred percent exactly like the voice that you did, Pax, when you were doing the Thanos, the Middle Eastern Thanos. <laughs> yes, <laughs> like yeah, because that. Sound like exactly. I was listening to the podcast and I was like, "Why have they recorded Pax and put him on this podcast?" Wow, that's a big get for Pax. Wow. Like, and so, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, there's the clips on our Instagram, the Brown Avengers. It's, it's, yeah, the Brown Avengers. We did a. We got into a little riff where we started doing Brown Avengers, and yeah. I did. 
Persian Thanos. Persian Thanos. Yeah. Do it. Do it now. Like do it. I, what did I say? It was. He it was like, um, um, it was a, well, that's a really. I snapped good, my finger. I snapped my finger. That's really nice. Yeah, 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 everybody goes, yeah, yeah, really that infinity nice. gun, let's really <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's it, that's it. <laughs> I'm going to melt it down, everybody's going to get a gold chain. <laughs> <laughs> when you were doing the that... voice in the bit, it sounded like, I was like, this guy's doing a gag. And then I heard the guy, and he sounded exactly like it. Yeah, so, that sometimes, so, okay. When I'm on stage, and when I'm doing, like, random comedy things, this podcast, whatever, and I need to do a Middle Eastern accent, I go to generic Middle Eastern guy, which is like, hello, how are you? Like that. Uh-huh. That's not a Persian accent at all. Uh, yeah, that's like a Westerner's idea. Of what that's it just is, a Westerner's that's idea popped, of yeah. what a Middle Eastern guy sounds like. And the reason I do it is because, you know, we know with comedy or, and with jokes, the quicker the, the audience can get to where you're trying to take them, the, the better the joke will be. And there are some jokes that uh, don't, that rule doesn't apply, yes. but they're unique in their structure, right? Normally, you want the audience to just get to where you're going quickly and then no need for confusion, right? So I discovered when I did an actual Persian accent... Which is the that, that one? No, which is the one that I, that I did, the yeah. Thanos one. Yeah. yeah. It would confuse audiences. Audiences would go, ha, ha, ha. But they would, I could tell that they were like, I don't quite know what this accent is. <laughs> Whereas if I just went like, hello, how are you? They go, oh, the, 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 the guy I get kebabs from. Right, Middle Eastern guy. You know? And so I stopped doing the actual Persian accent in favor of the just the regular Middle Eastern accent because it's quicker. But that See, accent... It's so funny because to me, that specific Persian one is so much funnier. Yeah. Because it's so specific. Yeah, it is more specific. And like when you see my TV show... My me doing my dad. I'm gonna be doing like I do a proper Persian accent. You yeah, know, like I'm great. doing like a proper the accent that a Persian man would have. Um, but yeah, like that's why that's probably why you clicked because that accent that I do is not often, and I yeah, did it yeah. very specifically for that bit. And you remembered it, you know. Yeah, but also I, maybe I need to let go of that. Maybe I need to let go of that. Also, that guy is actually Pax got hired by Gimlet <laughs> to do the voice. For that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That podcast. Yeah, I got outsourced here. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're like, oh, fuck, we can't get the guy. No, we, we don't get? want to make a comment <laughs> on this man in prison. <laughs> no, no, no. He would um, say, he would say, he would say, um, my good friend, Jason Rezaian. And he was like, oh you pretend he was friends. Oh, my God. It's oh. so Persian. <laughs> <laughs> Call everyone your good friend. <laughs> um, anyway, that's what has been going on with my life. That's it? Nothing else? Nah. Come on, man. How's your, how's your home life, Jermaine? <sighs> home life is tough, man. <laughs> 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 okay, so uh, a year and... Here's the thing. You, you truly do not have to talk about it. No, 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 no. Want, do not so, want to. Uh, okay. A year and two months ago, um, yeah. my <laughs> wife, um, Method Man... Um, my wife. I call, I call my wife um, Method my Man wife. Um, on this yeah. podcast for yeah. reasons... Just the new listeners, the, all two of you. I forget. Um, my wife, Method Man, uh, g- gave birth to our baby, um, mm. uh, Radiga, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, her, her, her real name is Corfi. Um, beautiful name. And she is a beautiful, cute little baby, and having a child is so difficult. It's like mm-hmm. the hardest thing. And and everyone and when you say oh this sucks and this is hard everyone goes it gets easier you know and they're always like it's not going to be like this forever and then it just is like it just, <laughs> no, 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 it but just carries here's on. Thing, here's the thing, Jermaine. The part where where us parents that have done it before you, when we say it gets easier, we don't mean soon. <laughs> <laughs> We mean, you got to do the shit part for a long fucking time. Other, you know what I mean? The other, there's, there's actually, there's things that, so that um, um, fathers, there's messaging that goes around about fathers that I've, I, I haven't identified with and I haven't really liked. Like one is like, you have to, the kind of idea you have to be strong for your family. And I'm like, well, that means that, that message that that's sending is if you're struggling, you're not doing a good job for your family, you mm. know? And I'm just yeah. like, that kind of frustrates me. Like, that's the messaging that is like, it's like, 
you're either strong or you're weak and that's yeah. you know and and yeah and that kind of yeah i kind of don't like that messaging and the other one is um when people go i mean th- this is just people like expressing their true feelings when they go to go and then i saw my baby and i knew like it was the greatest thing and i loved it with all my and i was like I just saw the slimy, cute baby, you know, like, <laughs> like it was, mm. it was cool. And I like, I love her, but I wasn't like, yeah. it wasn't like a sparkle in my eye and my like heart swelled. Yeah. I was just like, yeah, I used to have a bit about this. I used to have a bit about this. I yeah. don't know if you guys remember, yeah, I don't... but I used to have a bit about being pissed off that every parent I spoke to, every dad I spoke to before I had kids was like, it's amazing. I love it. It's perfect. What a joy it is. And no, and no dads would be honest with me, you know? And then the, the punchline is that the only person that was honest with me um, said some bad shit, and then it turned out to be my dad. <laughs> Bazinga! <laughs> hey, um, yeah. Um, but I I completely agree that, like, um, I, I also didn't have this... Mo- I, like, I didn't pick up the baby and, like, oh, tear came out of my... I didn't have that. And I'm not saying, like, there could be heaps of dads that had that moment. Mm. But I'm also similar. I also think that being a comedian contributes to this. Because comedians well, just like inherently a little bit cynical about the world. We're always cynical. We're always looking for the yeah. inconsistencies <laughs> in society. Um, and you want to take the inconsistencies and you want to highlight, highlight them. It. You want to highlight. Yeah, I was them. definitely. Yeah, um, actually, that's a good point. I was definitely kind of like when when it was all happening. Um, so from Chelsea, I mean Method Man, going into labour to having yeah. the baby, I was. Even though I was like part of this process, I was definitely observing. I was like, "Oh, this is happening, yeah. and this is happening, and this is happening, and this has changed." Bro, instead of being in it, like, like instead it's of it's not healthy when I'm <laughs> sitting there. My wife had a C-section, and it's not healthy when I'm sitting there. She is giving birth. Someone's slicing her open, <laughs> and I'm looking around for bits. <laughs> that cannot be healthy. That I'm looking around the room trying to be like, "What could be a bit?" Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's hard as comedians, you, but that's what we're trained. We trained our minds to do that. Yeah. 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 yeah that, that might be. Like, it's hard to, it's hard to like open up that, that vulnerability. Um, yeah. Chamber, you know? Um, but. And ironically, the more you open that up, the more you actually see more bits in your life because you put oh, yourself in up. situations you that allow you to, <laughs> to process these emotions and feelings. Um, that's actually true though. But yeah, uh, but I genuinely have, um, struggled as a, mm. a parent, mm. as a dad, um, but are you yeah. are you able to pinpoint like one thing that has caused the struggle, or is it like a you can't do that? Is it like a coming together of a bunch of things? It's just coming together a bunch. It's just difficult, you know. Like you mm. think about it like is. you kind of you 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 um you think you tell yourself that you're not that you're terrible at it. Like, you know, and you just mm. consistently mm. are like, I'm not good at this and I can't, I'm not a good mm. father and I'm not a good husband and, and all that. And yeah. it just kind of just keeps going and going. And then, yeah, you have to figure out how to break that and how to be kind to yourself and how to, you know, do all that kind of. You know, what's really interesting. You had a kid at a later age in your life yeah, and you were, and so that is good in some sense, that's really good. But I had a kid when I was 22, almost 23. I think we've talked about this. Yeah, and when you have a kid that young, you have so much unearned confidence about everything. (laughs) 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 That even if you're doing a bad job as a parent, (laughs) you're just like, I'm the man, bro. Look at my parenting. (laughs) You know what I mean? Look at you my know, baby, it's got Jordans on, yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. <laughs> no, what I was I feed say... her a strawberry, dog. <laughs> Name another dad that feeds their kid a strawberry. <laughs> Name one. A strawberry. <laughs> Name one. Ain't no dad feeding their baby strawberries. Not one. <laughs> you know? And so <laughs> you're young and you're just calm. You know, you're like, I'm going to be the greatest comedian alive. My kids are going to have the best dad there ever was. Like, you just got that unearned early 20s confidence. Whereas you yeah. had a kid, and you know, as a thirty-year-old now, you realize how how um, misguided that thinking was. But, yeah, but also, that you like, only get it with hindsight, though. Yeah, you only get it with hindsight. But you are having a kid at a time where you don't have that, and you're real about things that are happening. You know yeah. what I mean? You've got a way different perspective of the world. Yeah, you've got a real perspective, and so that's in some sense great for being a dad, and then in some sense 
is it, uh, uh, leads you down a path of what you're experiencing, yeah, that, whereas that, I got to like be oblivious to it. The other thing that we, um, I think I've talked to you guys about is the, um, so I had a, yeah, I had a child at, how old am I, 38? Yeah, 38. Uh, 45. 38, 39. I'm 39. Um, okay. Had a child 80, at 39. 80,000? 80, 80, at 38. I was 38 last year. Um, okay, stop saying 38. 38, 38, 38, 39, 38, 38, 80, 35. And so 86. I had achieved a level of success and yeah. financial success yeah. and enjoyment and like I could do things and I could do whatever. You had a routine. And then you just, and I could just it all me away. And my, me and my wife could do whatever we liked. Like, you just, yeah. like we could just do whatever. Had it we down could just the go toilet. and do things. And then we had a baby yeah. and then you you can't anymore. You just can't do anything. It's yeah. It's the thing of and but I, Pax, I as a twenty two year old, he didn't have any money. Yeah. He couldn't yeah, do none. whatever he liked. <laughs> he was he was like struggling a little bit himself. All all I know yeah. is having kids. As yeah. as an adult. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, true. I never I never think so about I, that. Yeah. That's wild I'm to me. Also, you know, like at, at the beginning I was mourning my past, the things I uh, I Yeah left behind yeah. and that's real that's real because you and that's okay too right like that's i think it's totally okay to mourn it and 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 it's real because yeah, like i put i got a wee coffin and put put the... and you wrote a piece of paper that said my past you put an old and you put an old nando's packet into it <laughs> <laughs> you put it. all the things from your past yeah, that you can't do anymore <laughs> nando's <laughs> playstation nando's. controller took a, <laughs> took a receipt from musashi and like put it in yeah, there put it in <laughs> Put the gyoza, one of the gyoza in there. Put it, put an impulse buy from JB Hi-Fi in yeah. there. Yeah, and now it smells like shit in my <laughs> study. It's, that study smells like absolute shit. It's just rotting. Yeah. A gyoza. <laughs> the poor gyoza, it's Musashi. Great, right? You know, you know what? I don't. Maybe we've spoken about this on a on a previous episode of the podcast, and I apologize if we have. I think I think we chatted in real life, but not on the show. I, Oh really? Oh wow! Yeah. Interesting. Have okay. we talked so in I... real life and not on the podcast? Like seven. Yeah. Times? Sorry to like sorry to ruin times. it to the listeners. The listeners don't think that we talk. <laughs> otherwise, unless the mics people are being still recorded. come up to me like people still just assume that we just hang out constantly. Like I remember <laughs> before we went into lockdown, I was at the mall and someone came up to me and was like, "Hey, where's J- J- James and Jermaine?" I'm like. <laughs> I don't just hang out with them. <laughs> I'm with my wife and children. Why would they be here? Hey, there it is. There it is. I would. Should we move on um, to my segment, or are you going to finish your point? I just next? want to say one thing. I think that this idea of mourning your past life is something no one ever talks about. Yeah. No, what, I don't, what, what can I, I say? I'm a trendsetter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You're talking about your past life, and you're doing this weird mic thing for the fucking... (laughs) Yeah, baby. Every podcast is going to have, like, the little mic. I'm just saying, hey, breaking Joe Rogan's show is going to be like... They're all going to do this and trying to figure out something that they're mourning. You know? Trendsetter. I'm a maverick. Man. I got it. I'm trying to think of something that would change your life like a child would. I got a UTI. No, that's not the same. (laughs) What? (laughs) All right. What? That's the end. That's what the, the fuck? That's the end of my segment. Um, we've been, and we've got to well, the end of the show. <laughs> um, we've been recording well, uh, Jermaine, for genuinely, seven minutes. Uh, Pat, I uh, hope James, we don't have time for your segment. <laughs> <laughs> Jermaine, I genuinely hope that you can keep opening up about this in the in the fir- in the coming episodes because I think we will only a, see. This is a thing. <laughs> this it, is a thing you see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> Because I think this is a thing that you've, um, yeah, that is, there's a lot to, 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 to you know, that I, I think there's a lot of people listening who are maybe new parents who are also in lockdown <laughs> thinking the same stuff. Mm. And if we can, like, even just, like, for a second address stuff and then go move on and do jokes, I think that's there's a lot of value in that. Yeah, yeah I don't know if I want to help them. <clears throat> oh, not. All right. Well, there you go. And that's fair. <laughs> so that's the end of my segment. Beautiful. <laughs> I don't know if I want to help anyone. James, here we go. Okay, well, I'll keep this short. We've been going for a long time. Your, what's um, your catch-up? My, what have I, I've filmed a TV show, as as was said by everybody in here already. Filmed a TV show. Um, I what's filmed it called, James? Stand- where can they watch it? <laughs> uh, it's called Freaking Dangerous Bro on the Road. You can yeah. watch it on TV and Zen On Demand. Or if you're from the UK or the US, you can look for a Torrent website. Um, but, but I recommend um, Torrents. Nah, do it. 
Uh, fuck it. it. Pirate my show. I don't give a fuck. Right. Pirate it. Do it. Do it. Pirate it, you Do it. Do it, we. Do it. Do I dare you. Don't be a Pirate it. Just do it. Do it, we. Um, we filmed that. Um, I filmed the TV show. Uh, I've, uh, I filmed a stand-up comedy special. Okay. Yeah. I'm very, very proud of it. Um, we're currently... Are you willing to of... talk about what's happening with it? Yeah, so we're in the process of... I'm fascinated of, um... by it. I'm fascinated by... Like, as your friend, I'm yeah. fascinated by the fact that you did it. Now you're selling it. Like, all that stuff is so interesting to me because that is something... It's almost like... I. It's not something I have the privilege of doing... Because yeah. I have children and a mortgage. Absolutely. Unless someone comes to me and goes, we will pay you for a special. If that so, doesn't happen, I don't have that luxury. Facts, facts, yeah, facts, absolutely. Facts. You did do yeah. it. I edited Yeah, but yours. I spent four I spent four no, K. But on I spent, right, I you spent, spent like, not much quite money a on it. decent amount of and money. And James I, spent my, a bit of money on it. Yeah, James yeah. made I mean I haven't seen it yet, but James made his I mean I saw snippets actually in the editing suite because the same production company made his special. Yeah. Um, the the production company that made my TV show made a special, so I got to see snippets of it, and it looks incredible. Yeah. Relative to my special, my special looks like a, a dog shit. But no, they're no, also no, no. different You're... functions. You filmed yours for a different function. You filmed yours. Yeah. Wasn't well, like, actually, Jermaine, you edited it, like... so you would have a better you would have a better perception of what it looked like. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, no, your no. your special was filmed for a reason of I need stuff clips. filmed for clips. Yeah, I want clips. I wanted to sell mine yeah, so yeah. it's like Yeah, no, but they're you know, different. Like stand up a... specials have yeah. changed. Now they like look like they have they have to sure. have a thing. But when, yeah, yeah. when you filmed yours, you were it was fine to do it just on a black background with some colorful lights <laughs> yeah. and you just do it. And that's what but on the Anyway, James. on on that. So with with that special, yeah, we are currently in the process of selling it, but I think Funny enough, the, one of the reasons where I was like, fuck, should I do this? This is a lot of money. Like, I don't know if I should do it. Yeah. I was like, a lot of my friends, mostly like, including actually mostly you guys who are in these positions who would, you'd love to do something like this, but you can't because obviously you have families and you have priorities. Yeah. I'm in a weird position in my life where, you know, I've got a long-term partner. I love her a lot. I've got a nice, comfortable, mm. I've <laughs> got a nice comfortable life i've got I, I live in a nice place i'm i have disposable income i'm at a point where i can take a calculated risk like this mm -hmm. and so that was actually the situation the one of the reasons where i was like you know what just fucking do it like I, this is a privilege and i should exercise this privilege because i might not have it later on um and so yeah. that's one of the reasons the other reason is like everything <laughs> i've ever got in comedy pretty much i've had to put myself forward for i've had to do it myself yeah I didn't like, you know, like my did entire you, did you, career. Did like, did you put I've... yourself forward to, to for the masked singer? No, but but I put myself forward for opportunities that led up to that. Mm. So, like, the reason why James, I got masked singer was one of the the people on the panel of the masked. Oh yes, singer that's the other that. thing for the for the catch up. I was also a guessing panelist on the masked singer, so that was the big thing that allowed me to pay for a speaker. Um, um, but whoa! the only reason I got that was because. Um, the producer of the show, John, shout out to Johnny Mac, he saw me at John and Ben, or he knew of me because of the stuff that I'd done with you guys, stuff mm. that I didn't get paid for, mm. um, stuff that, um, you know, and the reason I got John and Ben is because I put myself forward and I asked people how I can get into that room mm. and I got there. And so like the, that's one thing that it's like a culmination of putting my hand up that has led to the, you know to being able to be in this position. Mm -hmm. And so I think it was in the right, my, it fit my co-papa that I was like, this is how my career works. My career only works if I put my hand up because I can't be waiting for like, oh, I didn't get nominated for this award. I didn't get this nod or whatever. Fuck that. Like, oh, just put your hand up. And so... Fuck. I haven't what? been what? putting my hand up. <laughs> no, but again, going back to that, the only reason I, I, I haven't been putting my hand up either, and I'm fine, you know. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, no, I put my head down. I know, I know we're joking. I, I know put my you're head joking. Behind my back, and I go, no, no, not keen. And they go, no, I know get in here. I know you're joking, Pax, but genuinely, in your career, yeah. one, you're you're an extremely talented dude, but two, you can't deny the fact that like there's a massive stroke of luck and stuff that like you got to ride when you when you're in a luck or in a zone, you got to make the best of that opportunity and then you maximize it, right? Yeah, I also think it's like, um, I also think it's 
I'm joking. Oh, by the way, I'm jo- when I say I n- I've never put my hand up, that's a lie. Like, yeah, yeah. Maybe I have put my hand up less than James has, but to say I've never done it is absolutely not true. Yeah, yeah. And f- yeah, I've done it many times. And I think it's a necessary part of having a successful career. And I think that maybe it's something that I... To, to say that I had something before James would be maybe the, in, the desire to put my hand up earlier in my career. You know, mm. when James, maybe you had something, uh, a hang up that made you go, oh, maybe I shouldn't like, maybe it's a bit cocky of me to like be like, nah, I deserve this. Whereas I remember five years into my career, I was in a green room, or four years maybe, I was in a green room with Ben Hurley and I just said to him, I should be on seven days. And he goes, huh, who? I don't even know who you are. <laughs> and, then I was, and then I was like, watch me. Like, go on the balcony. of the, This is at the Classic Comedy Club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I told him, go on the balcony. Not like this. More politely. But I said, go on the balcony <laughs> and watch me. And he was like, like okay. Let me know what you think. Yeah, and he was I like, should be. okay. And then he went on the balcony and I crushed. And then two weeks later, I was on the 6.30 show, which is the audition for seven days. And nope. so you have to do that shit. Yes. You know? But I think all that to say wow, is that... That, that think... explains a lot about my comedy career. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 and this this goes to my second point. This goes to my second point, Jermaine. Ah! Is that I have been again, it goes back to my idea of like, but putting your hand up, people don't realize that that also requires energy and it requires you to make your like priorities. That just means that's your priority. Yeah. The reason I was like the ultimate putting your hand up is I'm gonna spend this much fucking money on the special and I'm gonna try get this sold. But not everyone can do that. So not everyone can put their hand up for that. Yeah. You know? And so I was like, that fit the co-papa of my career. And so I'm going to do it. Imagine if you knew. And now no one wants it. No. Um, no, they do. But it's... um. Imagine it's... if you knew that you had this opportunity and you didn't do it. And how you would feel when you were 45 and you had like two kids and a mortgage. But if I was... When I'm 50, I've got a family. I've got everything, you know, my in my life like, fulfilled. You, the one thing you never got was but a special the, I'd, I'd always be for. like... You've got and you've no got one... four specials that other people have paid you for, <laughs> but you've got one that you you never got one that you paid for, and you're like, damn it, god damn it, like it went way better after. Yeah, I wish I did one special that I paid for. Anyway, I wasn't even going to talk about this for my segment, but um, but I was. Just I want to know: uh, Are you willing to thing. talk about how the sa- sale process is going? I, I maybe you don't have to, but yeah. I find it fascinating, and I think other people um, find it fascinating. No, I'm well. I think it's it's hard uh, because I think well, so th- this, I is, wanna, this is not the usual way. So, this is not no, no, the usual no, no, way no, that things are, uh, are made. No, like not you don't... specifics. I'm not saying don't don't tell me yeah, specific. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like what are you doing? Like what do you have to do? Like what you know? Like yeah, what is the process? But I think for me it's difficult because, and I think this is kind of the reason why I'm so driven to do it is because I've already done it in such a public way. Like sure. I've said, listen, I'm going to make this thing. Mm. It's a, it's a, I'm going to pay. I'm going to spend this much money on this thing. Yeah. I crowdfunded to help pay for it. Yeah. So your, there's already your mum even gave you some like, money. Yes. She, she invested to be, but then that's not oh, a give. <laughs> she didn't, she didn't so say she, I'll give. I'm starting to feel the pressure on me yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. So this, this gives yeah, you an damn. idea. This gives you an idea. I didn't idea. even think about this. <laughs> this gives me the idea, and it gives you an idea of the kind of pressure I'm dealing with. Is um, I've done it in a public way. I've crowdfunded. I've got people investing in it. Yeah. Literally, like my mom was like, "I'll give you this amount, and then you can just pay me back." And I was like, "Great." I put my own money into it, and so there's this massive pressure, and this kind of speaks to like the reason why I'm sh- like you know mentally and where I'm at at the moment in yeah. the lockdown. Yeah, is there is a lot of pressure to not waste that opportunity and make sure something comes from it. But I didn't even think about that. But honestly, everything again, it goes back to everything in my career doesn't happen unless I do it. And I just mm. need I just need to do it. Like this is this is it. And I honestly I can't tell you the amount of times that I've like just nearly collapsed under the pressure of this you're doing this publicly and the fucking risk of failing is so high. Because everyone knows that you've done it, mm-hmm. and everyone has seen your crowdfund video. He, they've seen your intentions, but I think, yeah, I I, I need to like, I, I look for ways in order to maintain the faith and maintain the the self belief that my <clears throat> the work is good enough. Well, I, for, so to, I'll just to, to travel. I'll just I'll just just step in here. James yeah. sent it to me 
Uh, <laughs> I'll just step in here. Uh, it's not good enough. No. I'll just step in here. I wish I told talk to you in April. Not a very good show. Um, James sent it to me. He just wanted my opinion before they like, like said this is finished. And it it's fucking worth it, man. When people see it, people who put in money to help to help you make it, they're gonna be like, this is better than what we thought our money was going to. And now it, it just goes back to what we were talking about before, which is. The Thanks, hardest man. task of all is convincing some white people. <laughs> Hit, I, yes, you joke. I know you're not joking, but you, you kept, see me joking. Jermaine's laughing. But genuinely, it's convincing. I laughed to stop from crying, James. <laughs> one, to convince white people. And wow, two, so to deep. convince white people with money and yeah. power that yeah. this is worth investing in. Yeah. Um, especially this show. This show is about decolonization. <laughs> And that is such a hard sell, you know? And so, yeah, it's, it's very, like, I do, I have no doubt that if it end when it, not if, but when it ends up on somewhere mm. and it gets, like, a like a, a eyes on it, mm. it will be, like, it will probably um, oh, make an impact. At the end of the day, man, if you don't, yeah. if you can't get it anywhere, I'll pay you to put it on my Instagram story. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy for $20, dog. And eight hundred is... and eight hundred and twenty-seven snippets <laughs> 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 on my Instagram story. Bro, it's just gonna the, be the like... top is just like the tiniest <laughs> dots, <laughs> and like three of them didn't upload properly. So then like it cut like Bro, your mentions one point to another point. You're like what? your mentions will just be a thousand laugh, like eight hundred <laughs> laugh reactions per bit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I. I think that's kind of speaks to where I'm at at the moment is like, that is something that I, where I'm at genuinely is I'm very drained of any creative juice in lockdown at the moment. Can and I, it's like, can I, and I think partly part of that is going like, like, cause we, we pitched it to one place mm. and they said no. So that can was I, like, uh, okay. Can sweet. I ask what the reason was? Did they just um, say flat? No, it's honestly COVID money. Right. But like, Obviously, I'm not going to go into the minutiae of that and mm. the details, but it's... The who? Um, Who's minutia? <laughs> but Minutia is a, a word like that, that's like the, 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 the fine details packs. That's what it, that's what it no, means. No, I got a cousin called Minutia, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, minutia said no? Why she didn't want her Instagram story? my cousin in Pakistan? <laughs> you got like 12 goats, that's it. <laughs> Live, I'm a noose, stand up comedy special. <laughs> anyway, Pets, uh, anyway, James, finish your thought. What were you? Yeah, it, it's, it's, um, so that kind of goes to where I'm at at the moment is like, it's a constant battle of like just going. It's like, I need, I need, I'm just looking for ways to just be okay with the fact that it's hard to back yourself. I find it hard to anyway. Like, I, I find it hard to like, yeah. Con I need to constantly remind myself that it's okay, that I'm doing okay, that like I have big imposter syndrome is what I'm. I guess what I'm I saying. Think, I think we all do, man. I, th I think a lot, every a lot of we creatives do. do, and I think it's it's all so connected to the fact that I'm like, because when when I get that imposter syndrome, I'm like, oh, I'm not even like a good comic, and then I go, oh, why you spent all that money on that special, and then I go, oh, what the fuck, that was that even good, and then but then event like sometimes I'll just like watch like five seconds of it or like two minutes and be like oh this looks great you, this will be you, good <laughs> do you keep receipts do you keep receipts to combat that shit because i have it too. i think we all have it where sometimes actual sometimes receipts I'll be sitting... or someone saying something and you're no, like, no yeah because every time i do stand up i ask for the audience to print out a receipt for me saying, <laughs> <laughs> you know 28th of june this was very funny no i um no like like because you know like you're saying you have imposter syndrome i i mean we all i think we all do and there are I, many I don't I'm i don't have imposter syndrome because i am the imposter <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> no fucking way <laughs> it's not jermaine this whole time i don't just your scalp <laughs> well i didn't want to go his brain i didn't want to oh, go okay. down too far james told me not to mess with my mic okay you can't oh, touch your mic good. hey he's being a good boy he's you being a good boy there are many times where i'll just be like are you funny you're not even that funny why really you, that's so interesting to me. Is, because in my james, in my mind james pack, made a special like why are you asking him if he's even funny <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I just I just have doubts, you know. <laughs> That's really interesting to hear, Pax. Yeah. In my mind, this yeah. is how I perce- I'll let you into a clue of how I see you. Sure. Um, <clears throat> you in my head as w- are one of the most confident people that I know. And I'll and in, I'll tell in the back that you back yourself. And that I'll tell you something so that, about that. That. In it, that in itself is already like says a lot about how your perception of others is so different to how they see themselves. And and I'll tell you something about that per- outward perception of being very confident and, and backing myself in my ability. Yeah. That takes work. Yeah. It's not just, oh, no. it's not just yeah. something that like, is like, boom, I, I think I'm the man. Obviously, like when you're young, like, like I talked about before, when you're like 17, 18 and all the way up to maybe like 22, 23, you just have this unearned confidence because you, you know, the world is your oyster and you're going to be the greatest of all time. But as you get older, you start to realize, like you start to have a much clearer perspective. And, but unfortunately that allows the imposter syndrome to creep in and to stay confident and to stay convicted in your ability for me takes weekly work and the reason i say receipts this is part of the work the receipts are a youtube comment of someone going this is the funniest set i've ever seen or a review from five years ago saying uh this comedian is the future of new zealand comedy like stuff like that where you forget about and you just remember the bad shit you do it. It's such a comedian thing to hone in on the one or like one yeah. or two people who tell you you're not good and and, and with, forget the 500 or so yeah. people that are telling you otherwise. Yeah. And to, and to take the moment to go and to go back and be like, oh no, I am really good. I have put a lot of work into this. I am skilled because I've taken, I've put in the years. Yeah. It's important. Yeah. Yeah. I think it is like to go back to like, you know, like I do. Don't I, get me wrong I, though. I, I do think I'm the man. <laughs> <laughs> no i do i do that as well and i think it reminds me that there's probably other people who are like newer looking at me thinking the same thing like going oh what like that person's doing this he's making all that he's so confident in himself and yeah. then if i told them that i'd be i was like no nah, man i'd fucking se- second question every decision mm-hmm. i make they'd be like oh fuck that's so what the fuck no i thought you were yeah so you know you made a special and i was like yeah but you realize that like i had to force myself to do that mm. like to, to take that risk this is so but, this is so interesting that i like I, i'm not doing a bit i thought we were yeah. gonna get together and have a fun comedy podcast <laughs> and we're like like we accidentally made a mental health podcast I'm fine with that. The thing I'm is, into man, that, to be I, honest. I need to talk to people. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I need to have a conversation with someone. No, but here's, that here's isn't my thing. wife, my kids, about the way I feel. <laughs> and fuck up, you're going to listen to me, all right? <laughs> <laughs> no, here's the thing is, Jermaine, two things. One, comedy is always on the other side of that coin. The coin is two yeah, of the same, man. one and the same. We're going to date society. We're going to find the inconsistency. We're going to highlight the inconsistency, man. And we highlight, highlight it. it. Two centimeter thick. Cool. Let's, like that. Well, let's highlight. No, no, but let's speed up the highlighting because yeah, no, sorry. My sorry. daughter has to go to bed sometime <laughs> soon, and I can't record while she's asleep because I'm too loud. I'm very. Well, doesn't the dulcet tones of your of your laughter put her to sleep? <laughs> my loud, proper laugh that I do makes her cry. That's so funny. <laughs> That is the funniest thing. Loud, and that like, is the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> shut it down. Shut, it, shut the like, world down. You know, we found the funniest thing in the world. you know what I'm talking about. It's the laugh that's... <laughs> like that yeah, loud yeah, yeah. laugh. I know the one. Yeah. She... You don't know this, but when you do that laugh and you leave the room, I cry. <laughs> we cry. We, Jim, we Pax cry. and I, when we do the writing sessions for, for the TV show, yeah. and then you leave... <laughs> to go to cry. the bathroom or something, we cry. <laughs> we cry a lot. And that's why a couple times when you come back in, we had like red eyes and we've been like shaking. Yeah, You're like, puppy. what's wrong, guys? We're like, nothing. No, no, nothing, man. <laughs> that's why. Um, sorry, were, were you saying something, James? Wrap it up, James. <laughs> yeah, I'll wrap it up. All that to say, um, yeah, I think it's important to look for things like that to to have the self belief um, and to to not focus on the one. I'm finding it learning more and more that you shouldn't focus on like the one or two comments that tell you that this or like. You know, it's so it's so easy to look for the evidence that you're not doing well and ignore the things, the evidence that you are, ov- the overwhelming evidence probably that you're doing okay mm. and that you should be where you are. And this is going to sound like a weird thing, but a thing that I do to hype myself up is, and I do this sometimes if I'm feeling nervous before going on or whatever, or if I'm feeling the imposter syndrome and I go, um, I just say to myself, you're, you're James motherfucking Rocket, bro. Come on, get the fuck out. And it actually helps. 
I'm like, yeah. yeah, fuck, yeah, let's fucking go. And I think, and this is not this is gonna sound sentimental and weird, but the I wear the um the I'm not wearing it right now, but I wear the um the ponamu the the taonga that that I got from the TV show because it reminds me that I'm confident when I'm on stage with you guys, mm. and I'm like, yo, channel Aww. that shit. That's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? That's man. That's something that I do. I as last thing. That's something that I do a lot. Is that um, the most confident I am is when I'm on stage with us three. Yeah. And a lot of the times I do exactly what you do, where I go, "How do I get that energy into my In solo performance?" You know yeah. what's weird, Pax, is I feel like freaking dangerous, bro. Is is I'm like freaking dangerous, bro. I'm like, we could conquer the world. Just the white people just have to give us the money right yeah. like we're good enough we're talented enough yeah yeah but that to me that came from you like you like your energy of confidence like seeped into my soul but yeah. only with freaking dangerous like my own personal i'm like nah but freaking yeah. dangerous i'm just like we are a like do you know what it is we too? and we've spoken success. about this like wherever <laughs> we've spoken about this <laughs> wherever we go We've spoken about this in several interviews, right? The yeah. fact that we um, feel confident as a, as a group. Yeah. And, I, and we've also spoken about the fact that because we have felt ourselves that being people of color in the industry has made it like a little bit tougher to get stuff across the line mm. or whatever. And so when there's three of us, it's easier to deal with that. Mm. And I think those things are, are super connected to each other. Mm. Yeah, totally. Yeah, like, I don't know if I if I went through all the rejections that we did to get a TV show off the ground, I would have been like struggling to be like, oh man, like I saw fuck, this. How do I keep? I, pitching I saw this man. take on the dude who made Squid Game, the guy who created Squid Game. Yeah, because he wrote it in two thousand nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So and he and no one wanted no one it. wanted it. He's been working to get it made for twelve years, right? And everyone's like, yo, this is a success story. But a take that I saw on it is, um, no, that is a that is an indication of how fucked the industry mm. is that this show that's phenomenal yeah. it took this long to get made mm. um yeah and so sometimes yeah. i think i think about that like like you know like like it took us quite a long time for us to get our own show freaking they just on the road and we're like yeah mm. we worked hard and we got it but at the end of the day it's actually a failing of the industry mm -hmm. that we didn't get you know, we weren't able to make it earlier. And and for, for every freaking Dangerous Bro as well, there's like, think of all the other people who are probably, you know, could smash it if they got an opportunity who aren't getting that. And, so and I, might I, never, and might not. And might never. But we, like, I, I guess it's also like to remind ourselves that we are still, like, we are in a position where, you know, like we have, like, been, we've, we've, we've been given stuff to, right. as well as like, you have know. we had enough anyway, of the self-indulgence? Like, Alright, back to like, comedy. Yeah. Boinga all boinga! Like say, <laughs> back yourself is my thing, my takeaway. Look for ways to back yourself and uh, fight the imposter syndrome. Back yourself, mate. Just back yourself. Kind of sounds like an insult. Back yourself. Just fucking back yourself. Um, okay, well, that's the end of the, the re return episode. The catch-up of, of this uh, run uh, called special episodes called uh, Locked Up with Frickin' Dangerous Bro. Um, yep, yep, yep. I guess before we go, should we do some lingering vibes? Mm. Yeah, let's do some lingering vibes. Okay, I don't have a soundboard right now. I'll have it for next week. Okay. But um, uh, I'm just let's just sit here, yeah. okay. and stare at each other for ten seconds. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll add it later okay. in post. So if you're watching this, know that we're just sitting here in silence <laughs> and trying not to laugh. Here we go. And time for lingering vibes. It's the lingering vibe, lingering vibes. Lingering. They're still there in your dome, lingering yeah. around. Yeah, oh, I was um, I was imagining this thing in my head, like, like, like cause, cause I like it goes, it's the lingering vibes, it's the vibes that are lingering. That's the only bit that I can remember. And and They're if you still and if there. you and if you go back a couple of seconds and look at my face during the the, <laughs> the song, I was imagining Jermaine laughing. <laughs> 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 okay, lingering vibe. My lingering vibe is um Oh, he doesn't have his No, I didn't have it prepared. He doesn't have his No, but you didn't have your shit happens, bro. You can't do it. <gasps> it's the end of the streak. Oh yeah. Wow, I the streak is over. That. We're free. We're <laughs> freedom. That's right. I used to do that every time. 
Beautiful. <laughs> By the way, right? not not every episode is going to be this long. And in fact, yep. it can't be because we're going to run out of space in our, in our recording software. <laughs> um, my lingering vibe is um, at the end of the day, um, my daughter, uh, Corfi, is really cool and really fun. and um, But I didn't love her immediately. <laughs> Beautiful. Can't wait for her to see that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. This exists vibe. on the internet from yeah. now until forever. Her. Forever. I'm going to show it to her on the 21st. <laughs> and just cut oh off there. God. And just cut off at the sip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my lingering vibe is it's 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 great to be chatting with my friends. Hmm. Yeah, um, my lingering vibe is um, I'm glad that we didn't wait too long or not long enough to do this. And we waited just the right amount <laughs> right of time. Right on the money. Just the right of time. Right on the money. Right on the money to do a pod. But uh, yeah, I've, I've missed um, doing the pod. So it's been so fun. It's been great. Yeah. And I hope I hope everyone else also had fun. And it wasn't just indulgent for us. And everyone's like, I don't give a fuck about this. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hard. And if it was indulgent, there's more of it to come. It's, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's hard to tell because like our, our problems, uh, um, they're not, they're not fairly regular problems they're like well probably mine is the closest but their problems based you know based on our specific lives that mm. people might not necessarily experience but i still think there's elements of what we were talking about that people could still take away yeah, yeah. man it's all relatable dude yeah. <laughs> i don't know why i don't know why i turned into a paulie shaw character <laughs> come on man it's all right hey dude all right um um, yeah. But yeah, that's it. Yeah. Should we do some um, outros and credits? What, is, okay. what does that mean? I don't know. I to think you, we, used to, we used to thank people oh, and do right. credits. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you very much to uh, you for listening. Um, yeah. Thank yeah. you to um, Bazza for taking over, you know, well, just, thank just yeah. for kicking packs out of the Gape Nation. Oh, we still haven't posted that photo of us with the Gape leader, yeah, I know. the Gape Master. Should. We, need, we should do that. <laughs> thank you to the, thank you to the um, new members of the Sloppy Joes. <laughs> Um, thank you to it's James. Thank, thank you to um, James and the Kisei's podcast, eating fried chicken in the shower. Yeah, for the premise, for the premise, yeah, for, the, yeah, for the premise of this podcast, um, talking on Zoom with your friends. Beautiful um, music by SFT Beats. Um, cuddles, by... cuddles by me with my daughter. Oh. Oh. From, from to who? To my daughter. Unknown confidence oh. by. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, Saudi. <laughs> Thank you so much. Crippling self doubt and imposter syndrome by. Also, Pax. Also, Pax. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. The duality of man. The duality. Wow. Um, the duality of man. Thank you guys so much for listening. Um, yeah, and coming with us on we'll this journey of this limited. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.